Time to rock and roll once again, my friends. Winner's Edge Chiropractic Success Case Study. And what a fun one this is going to be from West. Oh, I don't want to give it away. And here we have a chiropractic team, and they're going to tell us how they sort of came together and formed this power partnership. So we'll just jump right in like we like to do with these. Okay, gentlemen, who are you and where in the world geographically are you? Ready, go. Yeah, I'm Dr. Nick Barney. Uh, Andrew Yonner. We are in West Fargo, North Dakota. Yep. So we just call them Yonner and Barney for some reason. We just call yep. them Yonner and Barney. They've just blended into one powerful human <laughs> entity just called Yonner and Barney. Okay. Sure. And they're in West Fargo, North Dakota. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where if you look through their window through the shade, you will see it is a lovely blizzard today after yep. it was somehow mysteriously 60 degrees yesterday at the end of February. Okay. So no sure. lack of excitement weather wise up where they are. Okay. I don't recall this. I'm trying hard, but how did we meet? You know, I think that I, when I was in school at Northwestern, I had a classmate that he had been actually coaching with you when he was a student, which Tyler Peter now. Um, yes. And I just remember him telling me, and I was in my naive mind, I'm like, you're already coaching when really that should be the standard, right? So he gave me some of your material or told me to look up some podcasts and I did. And then I think even later down the, down the line, I listened to some podcasts. Cairo Candy, I think was one of them. Oh, I forgot yep. about that. Those are the very first podcasts I ever got asked to be on. Yeah, they're great. Mm -hmm. I still have them in my library. I still listen to them every once in a while because uh -huh. they're, really, they're really good stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I was going to say, I, I had never heard of you at that point, but he had kind of shown me stuff. And then I think we found a few videos that you were just kind of teaching I can't remember what it was, but that was my first experience with you at that point after he had shown me. And we saw yep. some stuff in social media, some videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Were you guys in the same class? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay, they're in the same class. Okay, Northwestern College of Chiropractic, Minneapolis area. All mm -hmm. right. And you heard from somebody else and you got a little bit of material and that kind of got the wheels turning a little bit. How, where were you at in the path in school at that time? What try were you in? I want to say I was T8 because it was starting to get a little bit more as much as as you know, there should be a lot more business stuff, but right. that's when the business plan was kind of coming in and we had made our business plan together, not really realizing that was going to come to fruition at some point. But I think that's, it was about T8, T9. Yep. Yeah. And at the chiropractic college they went to, there's 10 trimesters. So they're in try eight. So they're getting ready to wrap it up within 12 months. Okay. All right. So that's all true. Brings us up to speed here. Next question. What was the thing that quote made you join? Let's do it. When, when and how did that happen and why? Well, I want to say part of it because it's a fun Tory story, but I think, I think we did find, we looked into more of your stuff and I think we got our hands on the green books at that time, right? So you'd say yeah, the, the little green booklets. Yep. yep. Yeah. We yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we read that and, you know, to be honest with you, like I said, I'll go into it for a good Tory story later, but we just knew we had to make a change. I mean, that was what it came down to. Wow. Yeah. We were, we were in business not quite two years at that point and we were to the point where even our account was saying like you guys can't sustain this you gotta be yeah. something's gotta change here basically yeah okay so you see ladies and gentlemen they graduated they started the practice together in the fargo area okay and they're in about a couple years they had been aware of the winner's edge thing aware of me didn't do it okay and you're cruising along the green booklets which somehow how did you get those I thought that you had a thing on your website, then it got sent to yes, us. Yes, I think if you did yep. something, we'd send yep. them to you, or we yep. sent you a car, something like that. So you yep. we mailed them out for free, right? And you got yep. it. For sure. Okay. And then you got on the phone and you said, okay. And notice that even the accountant said, I've heard this many a time, yep. even the accountant said, you guys got to do something. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We were okay. lost. We yep. need some guidance. So the back's against the wall, and somehow we talk and you join. Yes? Correct. Yep. yep. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to have some fun. When you joined, what was the clinic seeing total for visits in a week? Well, we couldn't even tell you because we didn't keep stats at that point yeah, either. That's how bad it was. You don't even know. That's how bad it was. Yeah. Okay. So, but I can tell you honestly, it was probably, I mean, 20 some a piece in a week. <laughs> yeah. Big fat F. F. We're going to yep. go from an F to an A. Okay. 
Yeah, like 50 right. between us, maybe? Yeah, I would say maybe not even 50 between the two of us, yeah. Yep. Okay, what was the office collecting? Like around, I mean, 10,000 a month was like our big month. Yeah, well, they put it this way. Our first, our first year, we collected forty-five thousand. Yeah. How many months of the year? That was the first full year. We opened in November the year before, so yeah. And then the next full year was forty-five thousand. The first full year of you guys in one office, yeah. you collected forty-five thousand. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you yeah. know what? Notice here, ladies and gentlemen. We got high caliber human beings here. Every reason to do well in an area that you guys can dominate, but yep. but just didn't know what to do, how to do it, the business structure, right? You just you just you needed the information, and something finally inside you said, okay, we got to get the information that we need. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Just imagine how many chiropractors out there are in the same boat and they yep. haven't joined yet, and we're really the only place that can help them at this level. Sure. Okay, how are you guys doing debt wise at the time? Were you really cranking and paying that debt down? <laughs> no. Well, you can imagine with that much collections. Uh, no, it was pretty much trying to find the most minimal payment for any student loan and income driven stuff. I and mean, I, stuff. yeah, I mean, I think I, I, I think I, I don't even think I qualified for income driven, so I was. <laughs> There was no income to it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I, was, I won't go into it, but I'm guessing you're stressed out about things. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It was terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Some of you listening or watching this, okay, it's terrible for you too. And it can all be fixed if you just want to uh, put some effort into yourself and learn how. Okay, let's fast forward now. By the way, that first office, how many square feet? Uh, we were about two, a little over 2,000. Yeah. Okay, so they had 2,000 square feet for two chiropractors. This isn't the worst we've seen, okay? All right, so let's fast forward now. What's your office like now? So we moved to a new office location in 2021, first start of the year there. Um, we have about 2,000 in that spot, but then we then decided to tear out another wall that was in a brand new building and then expand again within six months of being in the new place to add compression and all that. Yeah. So now we're about a 3,000 foot office. Right, so now they have this beautiful winter's edge, 3,000 square foot chiropractic machine of results and production awesomeness yes yes, yes. Yep. okay now what's your uh, best visits in a week i think as a clinic we're in that five would we say 540 mark yeah 540 mm -hmm. is the okay thing. and your best collections in a month 127 127 thousand lots a lot better than 10,000. slightly yeah now what's cool about this and i know you've talked about it before but for the listeners and the the viewers you guys feel like you got a lot of room left on the, gra the gas pedal, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Lots of room. For sure. And you guys collect 200 a month? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So you see, you have a whole different set of worries now, a whole different set of things that you're concerned about. But we got the pressure off because now we got velocity and we got momentum. Yep. Okay. Um, how is Winter's Edge different than any other groups that uh, you're aware of or had friends be a part of? What what makes us different here? Because like you'll hear me say, we're very very different here. Okay, yeah. why is that? What do you? What's your what's your what's your well, take on that? I was, I was gonna say we've never been a part of, of another group. We looked into some before we did and joined Winter's Edge, but to this level right now. So we I mean we lucked out I'd say, but the organization is the big thing with me. Just the amount of videos, the things to go through. Yeah. I mean, the, the timeline for how to start everything, it's just, it all blew together, it seemed like. You're, so. Yeah, you're not, you know, to be honest with you, it's for how many people you coach, you know, I can e reach out to you, email you, text you, mm -hmm. call you in a matter of minutes, and I just find that insane. So even though you it coach... Is insane. All, yeah, it is. It really is. I'm, because I'm a, because I'm freak mode, right? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Freak mode. But you know what's true? And it's him. Hold on a second. Nick. Let, me, yep. let me come back to that thought. But yep. what they're indicating there, and you'll find this to be true, the more successful the person you're dealing with, the faster the responses will be. Yeah. The more they have going on, the faster they get on top of things, the faster they respond, the faster action will happen. Yeah. And um, you want to be a person like that. I'm sure you guys are fast responders also. You were going to say? 
I was just going to say like the, even though you coach, you know, all over the world, really all over the country, it's, it seems like an intimate group. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it is an intimate group. It's, it's one-to-one coaching, even though you're coaching. all Yeah. Around. Yeah. We have a culture here that has a power. Why? And we keep it that way because it is organized. You always know what's coming up. You know where you stand. You've always got, you know, you got stuff getting mailed to you in regular mail calendars. You just, everybody knows what's going on and you know what you've got and how to interact with it. It's not, um, it's not all over the place or sloppy or loose or weak or all these other things that happen out there that um, we are the opposite of. Okay, next is this. What are some of your favorite systems? Now, Winter's Edge is all of these little systems, okay, from the little huddle system to, but just, just um, Andrew, what are some of the systems that, uh, that you guys use that are, you learned here that really make a big difference? And then we'll go to Nick. I think one of the biggest ones was this. I think it makes the most results is the report diagram. Yeah. Well, you, you get a patient in and it's just like, oh, nobody said that. Yeah. It's just the like the report boom. diagram. I forgot all about it, even though it's, oh my gosh, the report diagram. It's, it's the greatest thing ever. That and the re sign stuff, right? And the wellness plans mm-hmm. being made and the initial plan and the sheet and the box and the prepay and the auto pay. There's all these little systems that you guys just do so often now, you don't even realize that you even, you know, you yeah. almost get to the point where you think you invented it yourself, <laughs> you know? Yes, the way the report is done, and we draw a diagram to explain things to people so they can understand, and you can come back to that diagram. Remember what I was telling you, you know, and we go from there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Nick, how about you, system-wise, procedure-wise, or otherwise? Hard to, I would say, you know, that too, and then the consult, you know, any of that, any of that stuff, but just the team aspect, like the team meeting, you know, it's, it's changed our culture, I guess you could say. Yeah, the so culture and the little tribe they have in the office, and then of course with all their patients. But look what he's indicating here. Here we got two DCs. That means we got to have more team. That means you got to have them all on the same page. So our huddles and the meetings become more important than ever. Getting them to trainings, getting everybody on the same page, keeping everybody moving forward. And our we have a structure for that. You do this and you do that and you have this. You keep it simple. We keep it light, but we keep it consistent. So we can keep everybody together. Now, there's a lot more that could be said on all of that, but let's move on. Okay. Um, what do you think has been the most impactful or the most fun part as it relates to what you guys now know about money? We can see the results of money. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Andrew, just way. talk about money. What you what do you know about money now that you didn't know early on? How money flows, um, how money goes where money is. Like yeah. it's it's just a lot of different things too. Um, it, whether it's student loans, monthly payments on different things, what you can really afford, all these different types of things. It's almost overwhelming because it's such a broad topic. But yeah. let's sum it up with this: We teach a money flow diagram that you guys can draw as fast as you could grab a pen because you've learned how to do it to yeah. be able to diagram the flow and you know what it's supposed to look like to grow and scale up and start to become wealthy. All right. How about you, Nick, any sort of money related stuff that's been impactful for you? Yeah. I mean, I think we've talked about this many times. There's a lot of people out there that don't have a, you know, they think money is the root of all evil. We could talk all day about that, but money is a tool that you can use and whether you use it to good or bad, that's how you use it. So I just think the, my ability to wrap my mind about more money, how to use it, how to do good with it, but also, you know, it's, Money is a great, great tool. Yeah. And what we're doing now is we're always doing is we're elevating your yeah. lowest minimum standard. Yeah. What you will accept, what you won't accept. We want to just take that and just ratchet that up money wise, system wise, procedure wise, results wise, team wise, personal wise. You get the idea? Yeah. And we're elevating the lowest minimum standard as it relates to all of these different topics. Okay. Kind of a general question here. And they all kind of blend together. But back to you, Andrew. Uh, most amazing thing about being in the Winner's Edge group? I think, uh, well, really, results. Like, we saw a massive change very quickly. Mm, that's and right. That you put in I mean, money and you got this thing back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down. I mean, that's why you do it in the first place. That's it. Results. That's it. Yeah. 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 Well, you can talk mm-hmm. fluffy and, oh, Tori's really cool. Who cares? If we don't change numbers in the little boxes, Mm -hmm. so what do we want big numbers in small boxes yeah Mm -hmm. how about you nick 
Yeah, it's, I think it's the ability to bounce not only questions off of you, but off of other members, the trainings, the in-person trainings. You see a standard, the standard of the group goes up, so you know that you have to keep kind of growing and hit that standard as well. Yeah, now it's a collecting, one DC collecting 100 a month with before the end of the first year. Yeah. We, we have the new best, the student loans paid off in 13 months. Yeah. After graduation, not, not 13 months after joining, okay? Yeah. Awesome. So, so in other words, the new era of DCs, because all they know is winner's edge stuff because they were in for a year before they graduated. So that pushes and lifts everybody up and elevates, okay, you guys also, as you guys continue to grow and inspire others that are uh, way behind you in the group trying to come after you. Okay. Um, why should all chiropractors be in the winner's edge group for at least a few years? Why would you think that would be a, a true statement? It's almost just like you're learning the fundamentals of how to just run a business and everything as well, too. That's if you don't know that, then you're just like us. We were winging it in the first two years and it led us to nowhere. So, yeah. yeah, well said. OK, now we want to have a little fun here. All right. We're looking for a couple few or whatever. And you, it's really weird what people are saying on this. Okay, the last <laughs> one was particularly hilarious. Um, unique, funny, memorable, convicting, possibly irritating. Tory stories of any kind from, from anything. Okay, ready, go. Well, the one that I was going to bring up is when we did get you on the phone for the first time and um, we kind of laid out what was going on with us and right away you said, well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And we kind of looked at each other and went, and then, yeah. and then we literally realized it was the dumbest thing. That, <laughs> you know what I mean? It just, it didn't make any sense. We, so we, we pretty much hung up the phone and we were like, I don't know how, how I felt about that, but I'm like, we should probably hire that guy. That's the yeah. guy we need. Um, yeah. <laughs> Told us what we needed to hear, and that's what we, yeah, that's what we needed. So, <laughs> you know, it's interesting you bring it up like that because I look back at consultants I had, you know, 20 whatever years ago. Yeah. And, and everybody was too, oh, you're doing okay. You know what I mean? No one ever said, that sucks. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah. No, you don't do it this way. But they, but the, and, but what I do here is I'll call people out, but I'll give you the better way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I won't yeah. just say, stop, that sucks. What do I do that's better? I don't know, but that it's just right. here, do yeah. this. And you guys yeah. did do that. And you did learn the better way because it was readily available on video or whatever it was. And then you start to see the results and then you go, okay, we're on to the right thing. And then you really start digging for the gold because you found it in the side of the mountain. Any other stories or anything you recall from any event, any call, anything would, you heard with me call out somebody wait. else, anything to, to make it uh, interesting and entertaining for the for the um, for the viewer or the listener. I was going to bring up our first NPG incident. So we had started NPG. This is where we first started then too, and I, we didn't know what we were doing. I don't know if we had bought the set yet, or I think you had made all this one, so we had seen one, so we just tried to make it offhand, printing it ourselves and all that kind of stuff, and then we had sent it to you. We just happened to be going to our very first workshop meeting you the first time. And then it was that night. And then we were getting towards the end of the workshop. And he's like, brings us out. Well, what do we got here? <laughs> and then he just tears it open. And he's like, look at this. Throws it to everyone in the <laughs> in the room. Look at this crap. Crap. <laughs> crap. Crap. We're in the back row. We're like, okay. Um, no, that wasn't us. My favorite, my favorite technique is to have somebody send something to me and then rip on it in front of everybody. It's like my favorite thing in the world because I, I don't, I only want to say it once. Okay. Yeah. And then of course everybody else sends me their stuff and it's garbage too, but that's part of the learning process. Oh, and then yeah. you go back. And by the way, we're talking about this uh, tool. We have the new patient generator. How many new patients do you think you guys have gotten now from the new patient generator? Oh, <laughs> yeah. More than I can think of, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Thousands, maybe? Thousands, yeah. I don't, yeah. For sure. It, yeah. Because then you get the referral. And anyway, it's the tool we use to get material to the people that are around your office so they know who you are, where you are, what you do, and a way that can get them to, to get on that phone or hit the QR code or go onto your website and schedule an appointment. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's great stuff. All right, fantastic here. I've enjoyed every minute of this. All right, anything else you guys want to share that you think might be interesting or valuable before we wrap it up? No, I mean, we just can't say, you know, join enough. It's, it's, you know, you brought up the thing, you know, we suck. It's, and that's why I think when you brought up, why should you have a coach for life? It's because there's levels to this. If you want to keep going and, you know, if Tom Brady can win multiple Super Bowls and 
you know, we can grow in the chiropractic clinic and keep growing for years and years. You need a coach like Tori. So, yeah. 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 That's well said. And you think about someone like that, you can win a championship, but then it's going to take, it's going to elevate the yeah. coaching is going to have to elevate to go and do it again. And then it all works like this. And so the core of the success team, of course, is the chiropractors. It's the expert consultant. And ultimately you're going to have to have a good accountant to make your, make sure you're in good shape there. A couple other professionals along the way from time to time, but that's the core of the success team. Well, as always, super excited, not only for what you guys have done, but what the future holds and where you can go as you continue to advance and continue to reach and just build a dominating chiropractic presence in the West Fargo area and beyond. Thanks for your time, gentlemen. A great case study, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Great job. Later. Thank you, Tori. Thank you.